What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the second generation iPod Touch. Um, if you've seen my previous video, I said I would not do a video on the tethered jailbreak. Uh, now I'm going against that, and the reason for that is there is a lot easier way to do it, and it is the tethered jailbreak. Uh, if you do not know what tethered means, that means once you uh, have it jailbroke, if you want to reboot your device, uh, you will have to plug it up to the computer. It's not hard at all. And uh, if you are one of those people that's really, really anxious to jailbreak, uh, it's safe enough for you guys to do it now. So follow directions and all should work out well. Now I do have a second generation iPod Touch. See the volume rocker. I'm not one of those little kitties that's going to do a video so you try to mess up your iPod. You can trust me. So you're going to need to go ahead and download the jailbreak file. Um, I have spent many, 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 many hours uh, getting all these downloads and files all together in one little simple file to download. Um, it will be a jailbreak.zip file. It's a pretty big file, but once you got it downloaded, it's very easy. Uh, what you're going to need to do is unzip it uh, to your desktop and go ahead and open it. And the folder be named jailbreak. Go ahead and open that. All right, now as you see, uh, we have all the files here. Uh, this file right here, readme.txt. It's very, very helpful. You are going to have to open that up. That will help you along the way uh, if you get confused in the video and you need to copy some code out of it. So let's go ahead and open up the readme.txt file. Uh, you're going to want to go over this. So make sure you read all that. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. All right, now you need to make sure you have libusb installed. Just click this button right here, or this uh, icon. Double click on that and go through the installation process. I've already did this, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that again. Alright, now you will need to drag and drop the files folder into your C drive. You should, I've already set it up to where you can just drag and drop it into the shortcut and that should work. Okay, just drag and drop it in the shortcut like I've just done. Now, if this does not work, just go into my computer and then go into your local disk C drive, okay? And then drag and drop the folder into here. So now you are prepared. Let's go ahead and get started with the jailbreak. Uh, go ahead and first open up the jailbreak.bat file. Double click on that and open it up and then hit run if it asks. Alright, now it says press any key to continue. We're going to hit enter and then it says we're going to need to put our iPod Touch into DFU mode. If you do not know how to do this, it's very simple. Go ahead and have your uh, iPod plugged up to the computer. If iTunes opens, we're just going to close it. Um, and what you're going to do is hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds we will release the power button and keep holding in the home button for about 8 more seconds. So let's go ahead and start that. Uh, we're holding in both buttons 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now release the power or keep holding the home button for about 8 seconds. You'll hear your computer recognize it. Okay there we go and it's in DFU mode. You should not see the connect iTunes logo. Your screen should be black. Okay, so we can set that down now. Alright, now what we need to do, hit enter. Okay, we'll do this. We'll let it finish that. Alright, now what we're going to need to do is disconnect the iPod. So, unplug it. Leave it unplugged for about two seconds. And then plug it back in. Alright, and your screen should be white. That is perfect. Now what we need to do, hit the enter key. Okay, be ready to paste the commands provided in the readme. Alright, so let's go ahead, open up the README file, as I said, and we're going to need to scroll down. Go ahead and scroll down to step 5, and these commands right here, you're going to need to copy all of these, okay? So just highlight over all of them by clicking and dragging. Alright, so there we go, and then copy them. Alright, now what we're going to do is go into the command prompt, right click, and hit paste. Okay, and now it will do the if you it'll do the commands that we just entered in. I just let it finish that up. Now when it gets to here, just hit enter, and then when it asks you about IBSB, just hit enter again. Let it finish that up. All right, now what you need to do is just type G O. All right, when you when you get this up, just type G O. Okay, go and hit enter, and then what you're gonna need to do is type slash exit slash exit. That simple. Go and then slash exit and then hit enter. We are finished with this part of the jailbreak, so let's go ahead and hit enter and it'll close out. 
All right, now what we're going to need to do is open up iTunes, and we're going to have to restore our device to a custom firmware that I've already compiled and put in this folder for you, custom firmware IPSW. So go ahead, open up iTunes. Okay, so it's loaded up. If your iPod does not get recognized in iTunes, just uh, do a quick unplug and plug back in. This will not affect anything. And then it should pop right up in iTunes. All right, and there we go. So just hit OK to this message. And now what we're going to do is uh, restore to that custom firmware that I was just talking about. Uh, by doing this, we're going to hold in the shift key while clicking the restore button. So I'm still holding in the shift key and I'm clicking restore. What this will do is give you a pop-up. Uh, what you're going to need to do, navigate to your desktop and then go into the jailbreak folder. Okay, and then you will have custom firmware.ipsw. Double click on that and let it restore. Uh, this will take a little while. Um, if you get any errors during this process, you probably did not do something in the previous step right, so go back and try that again. Okay, my device is now finished restoring. Uh, if you have the black screen, that's perfect. If your computer says that it's not recognized, that is also perfect. All right, we're just gonna close iTunes. And now what we need to do is open up the boot.bat file. All right, and now basically what we're gonna do is do just as we did before, hit enter. And then we're going to put the iPod into DFU mode by holding 10 seconds, then 8 seconds. And there we go. Now we can release the home button. Alright, and then we hit enter. Alright, and then now what we need to do, unplug again. We're doing it just as we did before. And we get the white screen. Now hit enter. And then hit enter again. And now we're going to have to paste those commands again. You should still have them copied. So go ahead, right click, and then paste. And there it goes. Let it finish that up. And then it, when it comes to exit, we're just going to hit enter. Alright, and then we will hit enter again to the IBSS. And let that finish up. Alright, now we need to type go. Once it gets to the iPhone recovery, type go. And hit enter. And then type slash exit just as we did before and hit enter alright the iBoot will now be loaded hit enter we'll let that load up we hit enter again and then we need to hit go again and then we need to type exit again that simple as it says we have now jailbroke alright so just hit enter and that will close out and that's basically it guys your iPod should be rebooting now You'll get the Connect iTunes logo when it boots up. Uh, what we're going to need to do is just open up iTunes and uh, set up your iPod. It doesn't take but a second. Okay, it will come to this screen. Just name your iPod, whatever you want to name it. And check whatever you want to check. Just hit done. And there you go. Syncing in progress. Let that finish syncing. And then you have a jailbroken iPod Touch second generation. Now let's say once you have a jailbreak you want to reboot uh, or your battery dies. Uh, this is what you should have. You should have a black screen. Just make sure, hit the power button, make sure it's turned on. And then what you're going to do, uh, I've provided this in the readme file. Uh, basically all you're going to do is follow step 5 uh, just as we did before. Basically we just open the boot.bat file and uh, enter in these commands, put it in DFU mode. It only takes a minute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, help me out by rating this video 5 stars and favoriting. Uh, that lets other iPod Touch users see it, so that means they won't see that those fake videos of the iPod Touch 2nd Generation jailbreak. If you have any problems, leave me some comments. I'll try to respond to as many as I can, uh, but normally I get so many comments it's hard to respond to all of them. Tell me what you think about the new video intro and outro in the comments as well. And Thanks to my slacker mind uh, for making those for me. Make sure you visit tiesiphonehelp.com for all of your iPhone and iPod Touch news, downloads, and more.